the remote village of Kunu in South Africa's eastern Cape province was one of the first places Nelson Mandela visited in the months after his historic release from prison in February 1990. He grew up herding cattle and playing in these fields as a boy and said it had been important for him to return here to see the site where his mother had been buried. In his autobiography, Long Walk to Freedom, he said although many things in Kunu had changed during his 27 years in prison, he had found that the warmth and simplicity of the people of Kunu had endured. Kunu farmer and community leader, Walker Mankakana, says he had always been impressed with Nelson Mandela's ability to connect with people at all levels. When Tata Mandela came to the people of Kunu, most of the good qualities he had was of that of humility, that of connectivity to the people. The people of Kunu were very happy about Tata Mandela having become the president of the Republic of South Africa. They were so excited because his, their place now was being uplifted. And now, for instance, our na the name of Kunu is known right around the globe, not only in, so in South Africa, Africa, but the whole world. In 1999, after serving a single term as president of South Africa, Madiba returned here to live in the place where he said he had spent some of the happiest moments of his life. Tada Mandela had made a very important decision, that of saying to the whole of the South Africa and the world that I am now going back home and I want to stay home with my people. And all of a sudden, unfortunately, he became sick and he had to move to Johannesburg where there are specialists doctors who can look after his health. People here in Kunu say they've been deeply saddened that Nelson Mandela's ill health took him away from them to the cities up north in Johannesburg and Pretoria. They say it feels as though he's once again been separated from his rural people. Madiba was airlifted from his Kunu home in December last year to a hospital in Pretoria. Nakuzola Tetani of the Nelson Mandela Museum in Kunu says the village has since been struggling to come to terms with his absence. It was nice to have Mateba around. You remember that Nelson Mandela, you know, he has been staying here in Kunu. It was nice to see the flag up because we knew for a fact that Mateba is around. It was nice to see the helicopter landing, you know, every now and then, coming with Mateba because we knew for a fact that Mateba was around. Even we knew that, you know, we were sharing, you know, the very air that we breathe, you know, with Nelson Mandela. Now that that is no longer here, you know, he's lying there in a hospital bed, we, we feel, you know, very sad about it. If I were asked by the people really to pray for Tata Mandela, I would say, please God, do help us to give him more time because we still need his wisdom and uh, guidance and uh, want him to still stay with us a little longer. Renadal Khan, CCTV, Tunis.